Hello, Luigi Vamp here, and for this video I'm going to be doing a walkthrough of the bookshelf plugin for Minecraft. First of all, we're going to game, have a look, I'll show you what it does. Now, it used to be that the closest you could get to actually building some sort of library in Minecraft was probably the Craft Bucket plugin, where you right clicked a bookshelf and it outputted a line of text to the command, sorry, to the chat bar. But since the 1.3 update, I think it was. Uh, you can now write books, sign them off, and with the bookshelf plugin as well, you can make. Well, I'll show you. This is my library. Say hello to the librarian. Hello. Such a sad kid some days. Right click a bookshelf, open it up, and you can store books, records, uh, maps, paper, signed books, unsigned books, um, all sorts. I think you can configure all that in the uh, files anyway. You can also uh, have a shop version of it, which is what I've made over here, this little map. Um, if I take one out of here, it charges me a tenner for the map. And that's the bookshelf plugin, that's what it does. It's a shelf for books, surprisingly. Anyway, if you like, if you like this plugin, oh, it's, you go to dev.bucket.org. bookshelf in the search bar and this one's by Pew446 I really like this film, it's really quite nice a few days ago I put in a suggestion about something and a few hours later we had to update that uh, I was like ooh did you do that for me? No, just lucky timing um, but yeah I put another suggestion in last night and he's done it again uh, current version 2.1 I um, mean if you look in the recent files he hasn't even got it in there yet it's Hold off the press. So, uh, click the current version, the link at the top there. Uh, I've got this with 147 Minecraft and build number 2590 again of Craft Bucket. Download the bookshelf jar, uh, wang it in your plugins folder, and restart your server. Have a look at the config file. Right, rows. Uh, when you open the bookshelf, how many rows does it display? I think the maximum you can put there is six. Uh, also, when you open the bookshelf, what's the default name that's at the top? Again, the default name for the shop. Default openable. When you place a bookshelf, is it the bog standard block bookshelf? Or when you right click it, does it open? I think that comes as set true originally, so every time you place a bookshelf, they're all chest like shelves. Uh, top bottom access. When you click on the top of it, can you open it or not? Handy because you can uh, then put pistons and stuff underneath them and hide the buggers in the floor. Which, considering all the new enchanted books that come out, might be a nice little solution. Default price when you go into the shop. See there, ten pound each. Uh, MySQL database. If you don't know what that is, just leave it alone. Uh, permissions. These are what is actually allowed to be put into the bookshelves. Will it allow a book to be put in there? Will it allow a book and quill to be put in there? So if you want to create a bookshelf that only accepts books, you'd want to set paper to false, records to false, maps to false, and then you could just have books, books and quills, nine books and enchanted books. And villager trading. Um, does it allow a book to be traded with a villager? Surprisingly. Nice simple little config file. Permissions. I don't think there's that much in the permissions. There's even less in the commands. I don't think I like about this plugin. It's nice and simple. Right, permissions you can give to the player. These are the bottom few. They are whether a player himself can put these things into a bookshelf. Now if you give a player the permission to put a record on a bookshelf but in the config files you've uh, set allow records to false then the allow records in the config will overwrite the permission that the player's given. So even if you give players permissions for these you need to make sure you've got the permissions in the config set up correctly. Uh, bookshelf shop 
can you toggle it between the shop and not uh, bookshelf toggle is whether it's enabled or not and bookshelf unlimited is whether it gives out uh, unlimited supplies or whatever's in there and then the commands there's only five of them BS unlimited, BS toggle a reload which reloads the config uh, price and change the name of the shop now we go back in game I'll show you how to use those what we've got in front of us is just a bog standard block BS toggle is now enabled as a bookshelf so I'll put an item in there open it up, take the item out it's gone now if I put an item in there yeah, just check it's in there and then BS unlimited every time I take an item out of it go back in there, there's another item and I'm just going to fill my inventory up with maps now if I was to break the bookshelf it drops the items that are in there like the chest so even if you've got a bookshelf full and some noob come and has a go at it you know you're not going to lose that much uh, or BS shop uh, it now charges me every time I take something out of it oh I broke it so BS toggle to enable it again disable the shop for a second now if I put the map back in there it'll now charge me £10 for taking that from there but as you can see it's gone so what you need to do is change it from the shop uh, you can use BS unlimited the trouble with BS unlimited though is once you set it as unlimited it freezes the screen that's here every time you open it up you will see this screen which means you can't add new items to it once you've made it an unlimited supply so you have to use BS unlimited again toggle it from being unlimited add some items toggle it back and then you can take it away good little feature for having at the spawn for new players you can give them rules, guidelines, maps all the other stuff anything you want really I've built this library because I'm going to hide a couple of clues to some quests in here uh, there's about 3000 slots here now I think I worked out a bit and someone's going to have fun doing that oh, hello no I haven't it's my book so yeah, BS toggle will enable it, BS shop will toggle it between the shop, uh, BS unlimited will toggle whether it's an unlimited supply. Uh, one thing with the shop, if you just type BS shop when you're looking at the chest, sorry the bookshelf, it will set it with the default price that's in the config, but if you BS shop and then add a price after it, you can set the individual price of each one. Uh, we'll have a look at these, you can see this is row C. Row D, row E, row F. If you want to change those, you can see this one's bookshop a thousand each. You can use BS name and then give it a name. So now when you open it up, it's got whatever you put in there. So I now have an unlimited supply of maps in a bookshelf shop that I'm selling for a thousand each. And over here, I've just got a bunch of books. Aesop's Fables. A bit of Edgar Allan Poe. Go back in there, and there's copies for everybody. Everybody should read more Poe. Write some wicked stories. Putting a pendulum over here somewhere. Yeah. Some dark shit. Anyway, that's pretty much it for the bookshelf plugin. I've been poking around at this for about 24 hours now. If you need any air. If you need any help or I can give you a hand, please just send me a message on YouTube and I'll see what I can do. Have a nice day, folks. I'll make an and speak to you again soon.